tried to come in. Oh, wait, the tide is coming in. <laughs> oh. All right, so this is taken from John chapter 3, where Nicodemus came to ask Jesus, all right, some questions. And Jesus told him that he had to be born again. And in verse 5, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. This, so is, a this is a dove. So the path, the path leading to heaven is uh, the spirit and the water. So this is what Jesus said to Nicodemus. I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. He then went on to say, flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. So we sang the song because we have the spirit in us and we're happy that King is in residence in our heart as well. Just, uh, just uh, press ready. You just stop. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. The cross is one side and the tomb is on the other side. Uh, you see the crown of thorns at the top of the cross as well and it's an empty cross. You know why, right? Uh, Jesus is resurrected uh, and you see some nails left behind there. Okay, on both sides of the cross and the, and the bottom of the cross as well, right? And this is a road that uh, we have constructed at least from the cross to the tomb. And the tomb is also empty with a stone roll aside. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the entire... Uh, all right. Uh, good, yeah. Uh, the, the journey from, uh, you know, the cross to resurrection, as you can see there. And everyone in the group helped make the pass, so That's it represents right. a testimony from each group member. Yep. Okay. Uh, and, and that's it. Yeah. Yay! One, two, three. Shine, shine Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Bring the Spirit of Set our hearts on fire. Glory will flow like the nations. With grace and mercy, stand for your word. Lord, and let there be love. a well, right? This uh, signifies the well at Sakara where the Samaritan woman met Jesus, right? It represents a very significant testimony of whatever your background, whatever you, uh, family you come from, whether you are rich or poor, whether you have a difficult childhood or whether you have a wonderful childhood, it doesn't matter. When you meet Jesus, Jesus can transform you. 
And here we have a well. Nobody is there. Because God has, Jesus has given life to that Samaritan woman on that day when she met her, him. Right? And we have two cloths here signifying that Jesus left behind his mark of purity and of this washing of the sins of this Samaritan woman. And we praise God that we today also can receive this gift of salvation, whatever our background, as long as we give our hearts to Jesus, as the Samaritan woman did. And what did he do? What did she do after that? She did not keep it within herself. She did not stay at the well. She ran back to her hometown and she spread the good news of Jesus to everyone she met. And that is why we, after, after having received the salt of Jesus, go out to become light for Jesus to all those around us. Praise God. Amen. 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 Well done. Thanks, Nina. Okay. Last the golden one. The golden one. Golden. <laughs> let's, uh, let's sing together. Uh, May sing praise how sweet the sound that saved our and he went to wash uh, at the pool of Siloam and, and he could he can see. Um, basically, the, the, one of the main learnings we have about this is, regardless of what people say, when we encounter Jesus, we trust and obey and, and Jesus can heal us, Jesus can save us and uh, even our youngest ones say Jesus can do all things. Yes, Jesus is a, a God of miracles. Yes. Uh, so that's that's the story. Amen. And this cross represents Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> 